Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. So today in this video, we are going to see a small exercise using Power Automate, which is uh, going to help us to understand how do we get Excel worksheet names from Excel workbook, right? In case if you have multiple Excel worksheet uh, names, right? So if you want to check or validate using your business uh, uh, flow, right? Uh, to, uh, to validate whether that particular Excel sheet exists in your Excel workbook or not, right? So those can be helpful with this activity. So to achieve that, what is required? So we need uh, the following steps to be performed on your workflow. So you have to launch an Excel, then use an action called get Excel worksheets. And uh, using that, you will be able to store a variable which just holds all the sheet names. And you have to close that Excel, which is a, which is a practice which usually all the best practices is recommend. Right. So those are the steps and uh, actions required is nothing but like list of actions which we are going to use to perform this activity. Nothing but launch Excel, get all Excel worksheet and then close Excel. So let's see the same thing practically in Power Automate how this can happen. Right. So, so just create a workflow or any name which is convenient for you. So I just created one on get worksheet names and you have to go to just for example, like launch right launch excel this is our first activity i don't want a blank excel i want excel which i've already have or preloaded for this exercise so i'll i'm going to use this excel which just contain multiple sheet names and uh, post that I, what i had to do is like i had to read all the uh, get works get all worksheets right So I want to read all the sheet names, right? So you can see as soon as I drag and drop the instance, it'll get auto populated here. And the value variable for the sheet names is produced as get sheet names. So now I think we are almost done. So I just want to display the same thing for you so that like we could validate it. So you can customize how, however you want, right? So say like uh, it's a names and uh, and then here i'll put the sheet name and select it message box is like information it should contain okay button so this is like just customization i just want to show you for displaying all the sheet names and then post that you have to go drag and drop the close excel part right before i running i'm running this i just wanted to show you like what the excel uh, which we are referring for so that like it will be uh, manually verified also when it opens you can see right january February, and all this monthly expenses and with expense summary also so we have 12 sheets and let's see all the 12 sheets is getting uh, like covered using our flow which we've designed and uh, displayed in the uh, message box right so we'll uh, we'll start running this workflow so the workflow is just triggered so you can see the workflow is running now so all the workflow names uh, the sheet names is listed over in the message box this is how we could retrieve the sheet names and the sheet name will be either stored as a data type or data variable or you can use this to perform some business decision accordingly based on your business need so this is a this is just one to cover it up in this video probably i'll coming up with a few other same similar uh, concepts with power automated upcoming session thanks for watching and stay tuned